Hi, uh, I'm Hadi Sadati. Today I talk about reduced order versus discretization approach for modeling continuum manipulators. These creatures are a pain to model, especially when they start doing this fast stuff. And that's the modeler state usually. <laughs> so a model to, uh, to be useful for control, it needs finite states and robustness. So I disregard finite element approach and uh, purely learning based approach here. A model consists of these elements. Uh, we need to talk about kinematics, continuous or discontinuous, mechanics, Cosserot theory, principle of virtual work, beam theory, or Lagrangian, uh, material mechanics like linear elasticity, finite strain uh, theory, uh, viscoelasticity, and finally the solution, which can be direct or indirect. Well, our contribution. Here we present a general reduced order model capable of capturing all the deformation, a discretization approach with uh, absolute states based on Euler Bernoulli beams, also new derivations for series rigid link approach with non-unit quaternions, and a case uh, of discretization with relative states. Let's uh, start with the differential uh, kinematics. I assume you all know these equations. <laughs> so. Uh, when I discretize, I talk about lumped masses connected with links. In the series link in, uh, uh, rigid link case, I have translational and rotational joints. In the Euler Bernoulli with uh, relative states, I have a beam in between, and uh, strains are the states of the system. And in the case of absolute uh, uh, states, I consider knowing the position and orientation of the masses, so an inverse map is needed to calculate the strain. For the reduced order model, I assume the backbone configuration as a polynomial, and hence the uh, uh, strains can be derived using differential inverse map. For uh, dynamic modeling, I use TMT uh, method, which is a method directly drive the vector formalism of Lagrangian equation of motion for you. Uh, trivial terms, but note the sigma there, so we can calculate the terms in independently for, the te uh, for each element and then just sum it off. For the compliant elements, knowing the strain, basically the deformation map, uh, we can calculate the transformation map, and then stiffness, damping, and direct input actions uh, related to that. So for experimental study, we used a stiff flop uh, continuum manipulator, three degrees of freedom, uh, three pairs of uh, pneumatic chambers, and a silicon body is like five min centimeters long, here is sample uh, results uh, in the case of uh, external load being present. We have good accuracy like 5 to 14 percent for dynamic and 8 to 19 percent error for uh, static models. In terms of computational uh, costs of derivation, using absolute states is the least uh, complex. Uh, using a serial rigid links is the worst and reduced order model is kind of the same. In terms of simulation accuracy and computational performance, uh, we can say reduced order model is the most accurate and least sensitive. Uh, using absolute states is the most computationally efficient with good accuracy. And using relative states is uh, the least accurate and most sensitive. In general, dynamic simulations are more robust than the uh, uh, static ones. And obviously, uh, we have limitations in terms of theory and application. Uh, that I would love to talk more about during the poster session. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for inter this interesting presentation. I'd like to ask the four presenter. So, the how to treat the situation that um, contacting a human? So, the case that adding the disturbance to the flexible part or the changing the model. So how to do? Mm. So in terms of contact, you can have hard contact or soft contact. Soft contact, so we basically have a, a, a spring and damper there, adding to your equation of motion. And uh, you can assume that it only uh, compress. So when it uh, starts extending, you just uh, put it zero. For a hard contact, uh, well, you don't deal with that case usually because uh, it's soft robots but you can uh, impose a constraint to the system. Uh, we can talk more about that. We have problem imposing constraints. Uh, glad that I found people, Joe, working on constraint in the conference. Um. 
Yeah, uh, one, one more question. 